In spring 2023, the Federal Highway Administration, also known as FHWA, completed testing of a cooperative driving automation, or CDA, use case that has the potential to safely reduce travel delay at signalized intersections. The objectives of this use case are for traffic signal controllers to safely optimize their timing plans based on surrounding traffic and for vehicles to safely optimize their approach to the intersection based on those plans. The vehicles in this scenario are equipped with Cooperative Automated Driving Systems, also known as CADS. To achieve the goals of this use case, advanced algorithms are implemented in Karma Streets, which is connected to the infrastructure's traffic signal controller and allows for communication with vehicles and in Karma Platform, which controls the CADS-equipped vehicles and can communicate with the infrastructure. At the beginning of Scenario A, the east, west, and south approaches to the intersection each have one vehicle stationed at them. Vehicle 1 is west of the intersection, Vehicle 2 is east of the intersection, and Vehicle 3 is south of the intersection. Vehicle 1 plans to travel straight through the intersection following a speed limit of 15 miles per hour. Vehicle 2 plans to approach the intersection following a speed of 25 miles per hour and take a right turn. And Vehicle 3 plans to travel straight through the intersection following a speed limit of 15 miles per hour. When the test starts, each vehicle travels toward the intersection while broadcasting their status and intent information. The three vehicles simultaneously enter a configurable geofenced area referred to as the Signal Optimization Range. Once the vehicles enter the Signal Optimization Range, Karma Streets begins considering how to reduce the vehicle's average delay and plan future traffic signal phases. Based on their speeds, location, and route information, Karma Streets estimates that if the three vehicles were to continue along their current trajectories, Vehicle 2 would arrive at the intersection first, and Vehicle 1 and 3 would simultaneously arrive shortly after. Since there are two east-west bound vehicles and only one traveling north-south bound, the algorithm determines that it is optimal to serve both east-west vehicles first with a green interval that is just long enough for them to pass through the intersection. Then serve the northbound vehicle second with an entering time that allows it to reach the intersection, just as the signal for it turns green. Karma Streets uses this logic to calculate the optimal future traffic signal, phase, and timing, or SPAT, plan, as well as the approximate times for the vehicles to enter the intersection. Karma Streets then converts that information into vehicle schedule messages and J2735 SPAT messages and sends those messages along with roadway information to the vehicles through the Roadside Unit, or RSU. Karma Streets also sends commands to the Traffic Signal Controller to implement the optimized signal timing plan. Using the received SPAT messages, Vehicle 1 and Vehicle 2 smooth their trajectories to enter the intersection box at their instructed entering times with the same speeds that were originally planned. Vehicle 3 approaches the intersection at a reduced speed as a result of its later entering time. As planned, the east-west phase is scheduled to become green first, allowing Vehicle 2 to perform its right turn and Vehicle 1 to travel straight through the intersection. Then the northbound traffic signal switches to green just as Vehicle 3 arrives, allowing it to travel straight through the intersection. This scenario illustrates how an algorithmic approach to cooperative signal optimization can provide mathematically optimal solutions to traffic problems, which reduce stop-and-go traffic, fuel consumption, and delay at signalized intersections while maintaining safety. Following the successful execution of this scenario, a second scenario was performed for additional verification of the algorithm's optimization capability. Adaptive Traffic Signal and Vehicle Trajectory Optimization in a CDA Environment, Scenario B, which can be found in the description of this video. For more information, 
visit the Federal Highway Administration's website at www.fhwa.dot.gov or email karma at dot.gov.